Good afternoon everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe at IDEX 2023 at Abu Dhabi. The 30th edition of IDEX and it is going to, it is already the biggest till now. I am sitting here at Bell, Bell Pavilion at NAPDEX and I am with Alan Ewing who is a Director, Military Campaign Development and Analysis. Thank you so much for your time Alan and we begin our questions by asking you about the militarization of commercial platforms. How Bell is leveraging its expertise in both military and commercial aviation for the Middle East sector? Certainly. So we take our commercially certified aircraft that already have, enjoy a great reputation here in the region and we highly customize them for our customers' needs. In some cases, we actually arm the aircraft and otherwise we just put mission equipment on it. And so we keep the same certification basis for the aircraft, but develop a high re highly responsive configuration for our customers. Right. So at IDEX here, for specifically for UAE region, what are the products you are targeting here at the moment? So we are offering our 505 aircraft, which is uh, one of the finest training uh, helicopters in the world. Uh, we are offering our armed 407M, the Bell 429 as a search and rescue aircraft and the Bell 412M both in a utility configuration and an armed configuration. Right. Um, the configurations that you, uh, the Bell is doing, is it according to the Middle East terrain or it is uh, according to the police and the, the, the client? Generally it is for military. Yeah. So most of our efforts over the last few years have been configuring with armament systems. It draws heavily upon the law enforcement versions we've already created, but adding the addition of armor systems and weapons. So what about uh, the service after, the after service where the aircraft is already here with the UAE? So Bell has a worldwide service network, a preeminent supporter of our rotorcraft around the world. That's one of the huge advantages of buying directly from the OEM. Mm -hmm. Do you already have such a facility here in UAE or Middle East? Yes, we do. Right. So already uh, Bell has a market in UAE. Bell has already uh, supplied uh, aircrafts to UAE. So there are 407 armed aircraft uh, mm -hmm. operating in the UAE already and Bell 429 is operating in Abu Dhabi. All right. Currently, uh, yesterday after the inauguration, how has been the response from the UAE military? Also, I would like to know here we see a lot of uh, delegations who have come from all the Middle East countries and the African countries as well. So how has been the response till now? Well, uh, we think the response has been terrific. Even though uh, our location is in the Navy area, we have seen a tremendous response and tremendous visitation to our booth. And so we are very pleased. So further, have you received any more interest from the other Middle East countries or the African countries, uh, the delegations who have arrived here? So we have had good interest already and so we are using this show to solidify that interest and to take the next step in our sales campaigns. Um, in, a, in a show like this, demonstrations are really very important. When you show some things, you show the capabilities to the audience, to the delegations. Don't you think uh, here, when you uh, were you able to demonstrate your aircraft here? Yeah. So we will not demonstrate the aircraft at this show. Um, really is not set up for us to do yeah. that. But uh, we do have displays of all of our models of uh -huh. uh, special mission aircraft and a very nice video outside right. that shows one of our latest test testing sessions. So next we come to your H1 program. Yes the discussion which is ongoing on the H1 program. Can you tell us more about it? So we are still currently in production for both of the H1 series of aircraft, the AH-1Z uh, Viper and the UH-1Y uh, Venom. Uh, we are currently making those aircraft for international customers and we hope to sign another international customer very soon. Again the same question, uh, are you looking forward for the same for the UAE region? And the Middle East region? We have hope for the Middle Eastern region that uh, they will see renewed interest for these aircraft and so we are willing to talk to any customer. How much suitable are these aircrafts for this region? So I think they're extremely suitable. They are highly marinized and very very modern. They use all of the U.S. weapon systems that are eligible for this region 
So they are world-class attack and utility aircraft that share 85% commonality in their components. So far we have seen that Middle East market is more for the uh, naval systems and the military, the land systems. Uh, for Bell Helicopters, how how are you uh, trying to imbibe the aircrafts for the more for this region with the Navy's naval systems? So we take advantage of a lot of our techniques of marinizing the aircraft. When we say marinizing, it's really to environmentally harden the aircraft mm -hmm. for operation in humid environments, salt water environments, and sand and dust. So that. Uh, cuts across all of our platforms, both military and commercial. Right, Bell, I, Bell helicopters I've always uh, found in all the defense shows and mostly on the air shows. So this is the first time I'm seeing it in a Navy, I mean Navdex in the uh, Navy uh, platform. So how how it has been in IDEX for the last two days, and what else you are expecting in the next three days to come? So. Bell helicopters have always been used by navies around the world, so mm -hmm. they are extremely suitable for use aboard ships. So we find it very comfortable to be here at Navdex. That's really great. Thank you so much for your time, Alan, and we really look forward to meet you again in different air shows and different shows, and of course some maritime shows also. So thank you so much, and we really expect a good three days next. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you.